Welcome to Sleeping Dogs on the Second Thought. And I didn't do it, so you can't punch me in the face. Hmm. Do you know what I was going to do? I have a sneaking suspicion and you don't have to torture everybody else with it. I do, I do. No, you so don't, I, you don't, so you don't. How, how I was going to start this video. I'm warning I don't, you. I, I don't care, I'm I don't care. You. Okay, it's worth it. So how I was going to start this video was, uh, I just met you and this is crazy. Oh. So here's Sleeping Dogs. Watch it, maybe. I'm so gonna hit you in the nutsack. So hard. I know, right? But it was worth it. I'm sat here grinning from ear to I ear. I hope you're still wearing that same grin when you're wearing your own nuts as earrings. <laughs> you have a strange fascination with my nuts. At the I'm gonna kick you so hard. So, Sleeping Dogs, you completed this already, and this always happens. Any time, any time that you get your hands on a game like this, like Max Payne, you play and couldn't put Yeah, when I get it, if a game... If a game grabs you, Yeah, I'll just... That's it. I'll go with it. Uh, this, uh, I lost like three, four days to just... What are you doing? So, I'm playing Sleeping Dogs. Go away, leave me alone, you're talking over dialogue. Yeah. So, so, is it good? We, Shut up, uh, you're talking over dialogue. <laughs> we don't have a first glance for this, so let's cover that quickly. First what was glance. your first thought of it? <laughs> we don't have a first glance because I was too busy playing it. Yeah. <laughs> I got back from Germany and the first thing I did was play it and then it was like, whoops, I should have done the video. <laughs> um, yeah. what, what were your first thoughts on it? At first, I picked it up and I was like, okay, what do we got? It feels a bit like a, like a Square Enix take on Grand Theft Auto. Feels like Grand Theft Auto across just cause two, and once you get through the initial missions and you've had all of the mechanics kind of explained and tutorialed, which is all well and good, but that really gets annoying when you have to when you come to replay the game and it's like I know yeah. how to do this already. Let me skip. No, let me skip it. Never mind that aside. Once you've had all the mechanics explained to you, it feels very much like a hybrid of. Grand Theft Auto and just caused <laughs> what did he hit? <laughs> what did he hit? A bump, uh, a hedgehog. I don't know. The physics to me were really awesome yeah. in the game, but one of the issues I had was driving when I first started. This was my pet peeve with the game: driving sucks dick. Well, it takes some getting used to. I'll say that much. It's, some it's getting the used to is an physics. understatement. Yeah. So there it's are over the top physics, based, but. They As you can see by like, you know, you shoot out the tire on a bike, it flips and explodes. There we go, there yeah, we you go. You shut the back tire out and it goes over the handlebars. Um, or that, where you like, you shoot out one of the tires on the car and it just suddenly flips. <laughs> and like, it, it tried to buck there. We'll get a better one in a few minutes, I hope, where I managed to do something that shows it off a bit better. <laughs> that was cool. But there you go, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> the bike exploding as soon as it touches concrete without a rider. Yeah, it's like playing an action film. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Shoot the front tire out, car launches into the air, See, hits lamp tire and sets explodes. on fire and explodes. You mentioned a few days ago, you felt it was very much like last action hero. Yeah, it's like game. living in the last action hero world. The way you well, can just hijack a car and people in the street will just drive past you like they see this shit every day on the way to work. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, hang on, what? But it, it's... Yeah. It, it, because it maintains it the whole time, and it, it's just, it works, it's fun to play, and it, it's quite that absorbing. Yeah. Oh, I wanted him to go over the side there. It's quite absorbing. Yeah. You, it just fits, it works. Yeah, so the physics are amazing. I love the kind of over-the-top physics. It, I feel it works really well with the story as well, because the story is this really kind of gritty, uh, cop, and the, what, what's the best way of describing it? Um, it's one of those ones that you could imagine having a trailer where it's just like, when you're so far undercover, who are you really? Yeah, that, that, that's that, that's pretty much how it that how undercover it struggle it up at the start. This is like anti-hero. Yeah, at the at the very start of the game, when you're ver doing like one of the very first cutscenes, it is a case of you know, it's very cheesy of have, do you, have you got the stuff? Have you got the money? <laughs> yeah, and then like it goes. The yeah, and then it goes into the whole, you know, it's like, we can't trust him, he's a loose cannon, and it's like, but he is one of the best arrest records of the, any of our guys. It's very much that whole case of, you know, it's like, can you trust a guy that's that deep? No pun intended. But um, And that, that plays into it. But I think the physics works in that kind it's of story. Just goes to outfit. Yeah, I know, right? Just, just... 
pimp outfit. Where, right where did he come from? I don't know where he came from, <laughs> and I don't know where he went. I go and look, and he's not there. Like, I think you can make out the shadow of his car falling through the world. Or oh, yeah, somewhere on the bottom of the dock. <laughs> this The story, while it is very mature and gritty and kind of, like, you know, it fits together with combat and everything else and the physics, it creates this really interesting package where you do have this kind of realistic movie-esque story that's then complemented by tongue-in-cheek, over-the-top, brutal, gritty yeah. humour as well. Yeah, the radio stations and things like that. Like, uh, if you've played any of either of the Just Cause games, um, there's ad- adverts on the radio for to go uh, and have a look and be a tourist in uh, Panau. And then going on, how Panau is a wonderful thing. You can go to the uh, the casino, or, you know, the Falls Casino, or you can go down to the beach and take a pleasure tour. And it just, they really, you know, hang on, that's a horribly brutal. People are dying, and I've been, I was part of the, Wait a minute. <laughs> the uprising. Yeah, I, I tore the place to bits. I burned half the buildings to the ground. So what was your thoughts on the combat system as I'm going to show off how badly I can counter? Yeah, the counters... I like the way it works. It it can be very fluid, um, but at times it gets a bit clunk. Like then, because you're in the middle of actually hitting somebody, you can't counter, you can't stop what you're doing. It works a lot of the though. time, but there are a few times when you feel like it's like, no, I counted that. Why aren't you letting me? And it's normally one of the big grapplers as well that beats the crap out of you. Yeah. But all in all, it, it's fun. It's fluid. It works most of the time. And it, it fits up. very much in the... Nice. It fits very much in the world of this brutal undercover guy who's got a bit of a vendetta. It, to me, like, it wouldn't to you, because we, we had, uh, like, I mentioned whether or not you'd played them, or I asked you earlier. Um, it feels a lot like the Batman combat systems, but you never played them. I recommend it yeah, them I to you, and I think uh, you're going to... Any of the Batman. Yeah, I'll definitely yeah. pick them up after uh, after playing through this. They might the not com- suck me in as much, but the combat will be fun. Yeah, the combat is very fluid, and this was my first Maybe time was trying. Maybe failing dismally at... Uh... Yeah, it's like wrong direction, wrong direction, wrong direction, wrong direction. It's well, like I can't figure out how to get it. Oh, right, yeah, turn it, stick. It's, it's like which way is clockwise? It was like, because I was turning it the stick clockwise, and it didn't seem to be doing anything, and I was like, maybe it means clockwise in games, so I'll turn the stick the other way. And it was the dumbest moment of my life. Well, yeah, clockwise in game? Hang on. What? Don't, yeah. <laughs> but that's the the combat system excelled for me. There were issues with it in regards to you know how it some of the counters worked or the fact that some of the windows of opportunity were really small. Yeah. But overall, the combat system was one of the greatest parts of this game. Yeah, it does make it very fun. There's lots of opportunities to use it as well. Lots of these like hidden boxes guarded by little gang of thugs or. Uh, security cameras to hack like little mini police missions the drug busts so you got to go at, like a hangout and you take these guys out that are hanging about near the camera hack the security box for the camera go back to your apartment and figure out who it is that's the that's you know dealing them the drugs in the first place and send the local cops in to arrest them and all the rest so there's, there's lots of little side missions and lots of little chances to use the combat and lots of pickups to collect as well jesus so all many the, collectibles. It's quite interesting that all of the side stuff that I've encountered in this so far, like cockfights and karaoke and street racing. Did you find the things. offshore gambling dens? No. The barges. you got to steal a boat. That, oh, nice driving. Nice driving, Hodge. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all right, though, because even though I've just messed up my car, it's not my car anymore. That's, that's okay. I'm going to steal this unfortunate vehicle. I'm just going out onto the road while we're nice. I'm just going to crash into something else. No, there we go. Nearly the guy that was still on the curb there that the car avoided was really lucky. <laughs> but everything in this game, when it come, came to side stuff, fit so well with the world. I mean, there was things in like GTA where, you know, it's really fun that you can do some of the stuff, like go bowling or go to comedy clubs or strip clubs or sit down and watch TV. But... It was all just a case of, it felt awkward, 
for a lot of it, especially the stuff where it was like, you know, you had to keep your, your friend's stuff up because it gave you bonus things and it was always like, hey, Nico, come yeah. bowling. It has no effect on the game world. Yeah, there's a few things but like that. But you felt like you fun, had cause... to do it because it gave you things. Whereas in this, everything that you can do fits in the world. Like you're in Hong Kong, cockfights, karaoke, street racing. Yeah. All of these things work they do work but it does irk me to a degree that there is they seem to have missed a trick with a lot of the things they could have done a lot more with uh say the the cop triad system the balance you know the fine balance that he's struggling with between you know his hate for the triads but his yeah the respect and the the fact that he's made friends and that he does feel attachment to some of these people they there's no it doesn't really have any effect you can drive around with impunity and run people over in the street and provided no cop sees you and nobody phones it in nothing happens there's no you don't get a warning you don't get you know pulled in you don't get no, something you know you don't get some privileges revoked or, there's no consequence for it at all okay you get like minus if minus some xp points for the mission you're doing at the time but if you're not even on a mission you just run around stealing cars and crashing stuff and running over pedestrians and nobody cares. That noise may or may not have been me multitasking. Yeah, you, yeah I'm guessing uh, compiling another video with the uh, stuttering. Yeah, I'm not sure what it was, like, but I, I was doing something in the background. I, I believe it was Dark Souls or something along the lines of that. Yeah. But this is one of the other things I love. The amount of flavor that's in the world, like the chick there that was like, what does a guy like you want with my boyfriend, you know? And all of these different people in the world that you can just walk past that having conversations or just they give the world more life. Yeah. The, all, uh, the, the ambulance the, the great guys thing is things though, like that. The great thing is though that all of them fit, but because they fit for someone that doesn't know much about the culture or someone that knows nothing about certain things about this, They'll find them really hilarious. Like the two chicks outside your apartment that are discussing uh, aphrodisiacs. I think they're discussing like crushed seahorse or something, or like uh, a, a fish of some sort. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, it's like how it was a natural Viagra or something. I swear there was one of those. No, I like the uh, the girl arguing with her mum about her boyfriend because the mother doesn't like the boyfriend, so she's uh, she's saying uh, how she could hear them going at it last night and. She thinks he's a uh, dishonorable Drinking through a straw, <laughs> dishonorable scum, and all the rest of it. It's just you know they're arguing about that, and then outside another apartment, I get later on that you know there's this bloke going on about the affair he's having with his secretary, and it's just the little bits and pieces. There's an awful lot of little dialogue going on in the background. Mm. My there, there's one big issue. There's a that few I have repeats with... though. There's a few where they. They could have done more with the voice actors that they've had. I mean, the list of credits is long enough. Though. Yeah, well, there's actually, I think I, I cover a little bit of that later, so hold that thought for now. But speaking about the story and everything else, like we're, we're encountering a bit of it here. It's a really awesome story, but there's one problem with it. And I don't think you played True Crime Streets of LA, did you? No, I didn't. Okay, in True Crime, there's this wonderful... Uh, story path where it splits and you can choose like which mission or, like depending on how you end certain things and all this it'll it will like uh tree off yeah the story but itself this only fall. has one ending i would have loved loved this to have multiple endings yeah depending on how you played it through again that's a consequence for you know the cop triad thing i finished all the cop missions i was only triad level like six or seven so I've done all of those way before I've done... <laughs> you have failed quick time event number three. <laughs> Case failed. You suck, you got arrested. But yeah, it, <laughs> there, there's this really, really big thing of, you've got this world, you've got all this thing where you, you know, you're, you're trying to play on the whole, which way is the guy going to go? But then it's already made up for me. Yeah. That's disappointing. It's like, it's, I was talking about this with Katie in the other half. It's, Less of a game in a lot of respects. There's no, there's, there's a lot of game missing, but instead it's uh, more like interactive entertainment. It's like playing an action movie. 
and that's uh, that's no I mean that as no kind of detriment to the game it, it's well it's not a game it's interactive entertainment it's different it's awesome uh, it's very very entertaining I, I, I basically it's all I did for three four days straight was play through this I did nothing else got up played sleeping dogs had some food went to the bathroom yeah. sat down at the computer played more sleeping well, dogs what time is it oh it's four in the morning that's that's because the story is fantastic it's let's, fun let's, to play it's fun to experience yeah. skillful driving that was um, nice. and run over the old woman nice it, it's a fantastic game it really is the story is brilliant it's it's gritty it's dark in places it's this wonderful mix of really serious and comedy but at the same time it could have been so much more if yeah. they had have put multiple endings on this yeah i'm just worried I'm I'm hoping that they, that a lot of the little things where they could have expanded on stuff doesn't end up being in you know paid DLC because there's there seems to be an awful lot of paid DLC already for it. To I mean, be high fair, though, textures and stuff like that, putting things like that in as DLC available for the PC that a lot the console of, can't handle. Good a idea. A lot of the DLC so far is just stuff to make the game easier for you. It's just things like giving you quick boosts here and there. I really don't understand why somebody would do that in a single player game. It's not like you're getting an advantage over people unless you're like competing to be the first to complete the game. Because or... there are parts of this where it might feel like a little bit of a grind. And that yeah. just gives people a little extra bit, of, uh, well, a little way around that. But one of the, here's the voice acting thing that you were talking about. All of the wonderful voices yelling at me, but. I start going past stores where they're using the same voice actor and the, the same, same line. line. Yeah. I like the little pork bun guy. He's awesome. Every time we go past, why do why you not have pork bun in hand? He reminds me of Cut Me On The Throat Dibbler. But there's, <laughs> th this was one of the great things. Like The amount of freedom that you have in the game to buy clothes, to buy cars, to get all these different items, to unlock all these different things, to find all the lock boxes, get all the stuff. There's so much you can do in this world. I mean, they did bits and pieces. But, yeah, but the great thing I love about this is the fact that, A, you have sets of clothes. If you complete the entire set, you get bonuses like you see there. And B, the stuff that you buy from the market stores like, I'm buying from the very best discount store. It's knockoff. Yeah. Knockoffs, frisky sunglasses. I love yeah. that little extra. Like, they've gone to such like a, great It's just length. like a market. Markets are the same world over. It's exactly like the markets yeah. at Sheffield. Knockoff t shirts and awareness bands and the they've, latest fad fashion. They've gone to all these great lengths to get all this extra little stuff in to really add flavor and life to the world. And it works, and that's fantastic. But again, it, I just keep coming back to the point of a game like this, especially given that in, you know, air quotes, it's the spiritual successor to true crime. At least that's how a lot of people are seeing it, myself included. Because it, it was meant to be uh, true crime streets of Hong Kong, I believe, originally. And it this kind of developed from that. That was a game that played a lot on having the multiple playthrough different ending style thing of you know uh, because it was, the, it, was, you, it was it was the same kind is. of premise of good cop bad cop yeah which exactly like I was saying you know they could have done a lot more with that I was expected to be honest I was expecting different endings or at least if I'd completed all the cop missions first I'd get some kind of bonus for you know. The other cops in, oh, um, yeah. we've solved all my cases, I've got some time on my one hands, of, I can come to help you, whatever, you know. One of the great things I did love about this you know, the game, though, was not only the upgrade system that we're looking at now, but before that we were looking at the social hub stuff, and I found myself so many, many times where I'm heading towards a mission, <laughs> and I get distracted by the fact that like, I'm clean driving, or headhunter, or all these wonderful little... The social stuff is integrated into the game so well that it will just pop up and be like, hey, you've currently, you're currently on X of Y. You are this rank. The closest person above you is this. And I've had so many people already tell me, like, you know, that they've been doing stuff to try and beat my scores or challenging me to beat theirs and all of these yeah. different things. You would have a sort of wheelie challenge. Yeah, the, the, social the, hub, the social hub stuff fits into the game so well. It's really integrated so smoothly that you don't even notice it. Yeah. But once you do notice it, it has... You can't... Yeah, yeah. I was going to say exactly the same thing. 
100 lock mission. boxes, so many different, like, 28 Vehicles, cars, 100, no, 179 cars, 28 items or something like, 28 cars, 178 items. The There's tons of stuff, boxes. like, tons and tons of stats. But, yeah, the so, just recapping, the game has got good story, solid voice acting for the main characters, going for all the pros first, the really awesome physics, over the top movie, all comes together in a really fantastic world. You agree? Yeah. Okay. It's very, very immersive, very fun but to play, very easy to get lost in. Negative side points. Little on the linear side. Mm, story wise, yeah. Neg single, single storyline ending, so it's just a, uh, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter what yeah. you do, it's just. But, but neg negative side points now. So the, the voice acting in that market was very repetitive and annoying. Like, I feel that some of the side characters, they could have just added more lines. Even if it's the same person, just add multiple lines. The, like, five different women yelling, Hey, sexy man, why don't you come over here and let me dress you as I run past each stall is really irritating. Yeah. The... I mean, not, oh, sorry, difficult. Go not difficult no. to record multiple lines. And no. a lot of the time, it is the same person. If you stood there for quite a long okay. time... Yeah, listening Bam! to the same person standing there talking, multiple lines, is that's exactly what you yeah. want. So that, the fear, the car handling, I felt, could have used a bit of a touch-up. Multiple endings, I felt, could have used something as well. I'm okay with there being DLC personally, but I can understand people that are going to get pissed depending on what kind of DLC comes out. Yeah. I really hope they bring out more stuff so that there's more to do in the world. I really would like to see Saints Row 3 style DLC where there's lots of extra costumes and all that different kind of stuff as well as extra story bits. Yeah. But not not stuff that the game doesn't feel complete without. Like As long as it just feels like additions, that's yeah. all good. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah, I do. Solid game. worth Definitely worth playing through. Worth the uh, especially quid. if you've got a lot of friends that have got it because the social hub just increases the game's enjoyment so much. Yeah, yeah, lots of little challenges, especially if you're sitting on uh, something like Pentrillo a lot, like we do, and just you're always yelling at each other of ha ha, I just beat your score. <laughs> yeah. So. So yeah. Yeah, it's for me it would be uh, a buy like not not trying to review it in a way because we don't but for me it would be a buy if you like you know open world kind of gritty things like you know just cause gta um all that kind of stuff this is a game that you should definitely take a look at yeah i agree completely i mean it's it's worth the you know on my cheap ass scales yeah. it's definitely worth the pound per hour ratio yeah, you've played it more than 30 easily already. So yeah. we're running out of time. If you have any questions, queries, or comments, of course, leave them down where? Below. And from <laughs> myself and Xander, we will catch you for the next video, which I think is Dark Souls, but I'm not sure if you're in it. So we'll see. Peace. In a while.